Now, because this is starting to get a bit abstract and we want this to be uh, pretty clear, if you open up a like, command shell and you do a uh, do a search, as kind of we were doing before, which is the dir command, and you do a, a search for star dot sav, which is essentially what this does, you'll see that we have a series of demos under modeler. We're not going to look at that, but we are going to look at this, where it says IBM C IBM SPSS statistics 24 samples so that we can bring in some data and this should make a lot more sense what we've been talking about and also um, how this works in, in practice. So what you would do to open up a file is you go to file open and go to data and then you type in the path to the file that you want just like you would expect really from any major uh, software uh, package and then click on open and then go into English in our case and then now you can choose a, a given uh, file and they all end in .sav and you can see here that .sav stands for SPSS statistics which is a .sav file. We're going to open up the file called serial.sav which is a very simple file that will provide data about cereals, uh, people who eat cereal, what kind, and that sort of thing. So the interesting thing as we had said before here is that we have our age category, the gender, marital status, active, these sorts of things, these are all of our variables, and they're listed here. And we have, this is essentially the first respondent to the survey that was uh, published, right? And this is the second one, this is the third one, and the fourth one, and so on, down the line. Now, notice that the age cat, if you can get more information about it being a variable, if you go down to these two tabs on the lower left, we're, we're, we've been in data view up until this point, and we're going to the variable view now. When you do that, you'll get one entry, one row now, for each of the filled in columns. So age cat will correspond to age cat here. And this is sort of uh, like metadata about that particular column. So you can see it's numeric data type, it's four wide, and it has a label of age category. The label which uh, you can see if you hover over the column, you'll see the label right there, age category. And you'll get other information that's useful for that particular column. Now another thing that's interesting is if you go up here, this is called the toolbar, by the way, this section. Let's zoom in here a bit, uh, maximize the window. If You'll go up here to the toolbar, and in that, if you hover over any of these icons, you'll see a uh, tooltip. This one says value labels, and this acts as a toggle so that you can turn it on and off and see what is the corresponding value for 1. Well, a 1 represents under 31, and a male under gender is considered zero so this is a very useful um, very useful command to see what's uh, going on there and also in case you're wondering where the values come from if you go to the variable view you can click on values go to the values column that is click on this ellipsis and then now you can see that you have these value label pairs so a value of one equals under 31 a value of two equals a label of 31 to 45 and that is essentially how these values and labels get mapped into what we've been looking at in the data view here under 31 46 to 60 and their underlying values now another thing you need to know about each of these columns or a variable in general comes from this book here uh, Andy Fields discovering statistics using IBM SPSS statistics which is arguably the best book you will find for SPSS especially for uh, in introductory sort of material is this page here on a roughly page 49 which will describe the different types of variables that you have you have categorical variables continuous variables binary nominal ordinal and I will let you read these but the variables that you're probably most accustomed to are these ratio variables but essentially these are pretty straightforward right if you have a category there are entities that are divided into distinct categories so binary would be dead or alive and you can't really divide or multiply dead times alive for example and that's kind of the idea behind category as opposed to continuous where entities get a distinct score so an interval would a variable is sort of like looking at the intervals on a ruler each one has a particular value and a ratio variable is essentially an interval variable but the ratios of scores on the scale must also make sense. So a person could be twice as anxious uh, as someone else based on that score. So where would you find those levels, as they're called, in SPSS? Click on Variable View, 
and then you will go over here to measure and if you click the down arrow here here you will see scale ordinal and nominal so ordinal and nominal those match our categorical um, uh, breakdown from before but scale is essentially the equivalent as we were seeing of interval variable or ratio variable. So essentially anything that's continuous would be uh, represented by ratio. And then really everything else, I mean we saw the ordinal vari variable and the nominal. If they have two categories, someone's omnivore or vegetarian, you'd use nominal. And the same for nominal value for ordinal, but uh, if they have a logical order, so whether people got a fail or pass or merit or some, some sort of thing, that would be ordinal. And you can see the way this has already been designed, right? So if you, if you look at the age category, that's been defined as ordinal, whereas the gender has been defined as nominal. And you can see that listed here. So you have age category, gender, marital. And at this point, you might be curious now, why under variable view did they use ordinal for age category? A clue is in the word category. If you go back to data view and you look at our first case, we see one. But if you click on our, as we saw before, value labels in the toolbar, you'll see that they're not, that one is defined as under 31. And that, if you undo that again, so three is defined as 46 to 60. And that's the reason that under variable view you're seeing ordinal, because there's an order involved in their category. So the higher the number, the, the, the higher the order, or the order matters based on the value that they're providing here. Now, knowing that, we're going to do something very easy, a simple analysis. We'll go to Analyze, Descriptive, Statistics, Frequencies. And then in this case, we want to look at the marital uh, sorry, the preferred breakfast, and we're going to click on OK. And this will generate a report, and unlike the data editor, we are now in something else called the SPSS Statistics Viewer. And this gives us a kind of report with a hierarchy on the left that we can navigate, so we can see the log of what we did, and then also we can see our frequencies listing here. So there's our title, there's the certain notes, and there's an active data set, you get the statistics, and you can also see a chart if that's what you're interested in. And to make a quick change, which is what we need to do to include the chart, you can go up to this icon here, which is a recall, which is sort of like a kind of, it's not a back button, it's like a history button. We can click on frequencies and then click on charts and then select we want that we want a bar chart, click continue and then OK. And now, take a look at this, we get a new log entry and we get a new frequency and we get our chart. So where would you find those levels, as they're called, in SPSS? Click on Variable View, and then you will go over here to Measure. And if you click the down arrow here, you will see Scale, Ordinal, and Nominal. So Ordinal and Nominal, those match our categorical um, uh, breakdown from before. But Scale is essentially the equivalent, as we were seeing, of interval variable or ratio variable. So essentially anything that's continuous would be uh, represented by ratio. And then really everything else, I mean, we saw the ordinal var variable and the nominal. If they have two categories, someone's omnivore or vegetarian, you'd use nominal. And the same for nominal value for ordinal, but uh, if they have a logical order, so whether people got a fail or pass or merit or some, some sort of thing, that would be ordinal. And you can see the way this has already been designed, right? So if you, if you look at the age category, that's been defined as ordinal, whereas the gender has been defined as nominal. And you can see that listed here. So you have age category, gender, marital, and so on. And at this point, you might be curious now, why under variable view did they use ordinal for age category? A clue is in the word category. If you go back to data view and you look at our first case, we see one. But if you click on our, as we saw before, value labels in the toolbar, you'll see that they're not, that one is defined as under 31. And that, if you undo that again, so three is defined as 46 to 60. And that's the reason that under variable view you're seeing ordinal, because there's an order involved in their category. So the higher the number, the, the, the higher the order, or the order matters based on the value that they're providing here. Now another thing you can do is go back to our recall button, and then we're going to go down to frequency. And from here, we are going to select 
under uh, we're going to right click on this box here and notice what we are currently doing we're displaying the variable labels as we've been talked about talking about and now what we want to do is display the variable name and look at the difference here if you know that your variable is called age cat and you don't want to sift through all these labels because you'll get the label by default and then the name of the variable if you don't want to do that you can right click and just select variable names and it's really the same information but it's a nice way to uh, it's a nice thing to know especially if you have tons and tons of variables and the same applies if you have lots of variables that you can sort them alphabetically or sort by measurement level and you can use your keyboard so if you want to go directly to marital you can hit M here and go directly there and another thing you can do here is if you go to variable you can right click on it and click on variable information and now you can see those labels that we have been looking at before uh, through in this case of the preferred breakfast you can see one is a same it, it is associated with breakfast bar and two is oatmeal and three is cereal now, once you're ready to save your um, your your uh, viewer document, so essentially your report, when you click on File and go to Save or Save As, notice that you will be presented with a uh, location where to st where you want to save it, and also you'll see the viewer files have the extension .spv. Now, if you want to change this location here, the default one that you're seeing, you can do that under f under Edit, and then go down to Options and then go to file locations and change these to provide specific values.